Alright, anyway, hi, I'm back again. I'm going to do this Fibonacci um, cube. Um, I'm not going to pour that acetone inside like I did last time. I think I freaked too many people out. Anyway, there's the, uh, the unpolished, I don't know if it's going to focus, anyway. The unpolished, unsanded um, Fibonacci thing. It took 27 hours to print. Printed it at 70 millimeters per second, 230 degrees. Um, I'm going to go for the first dip just to see what it looks like. Even though I think because I printed it quicker, there's going to be some lines, but whatever. Here it goes. Now I'm going to wear gloves last time because someone commented that I shouldn't be touching acetone with my hands. So um, I've got my leather gloves. But it's going to impede my um, grip. And um, yeah, I'm wearing some mask as well. If you, you may as well leave the acetone in there to save yourself from pouring it back into the original container, which is the. Because I did use a funnel to pour it back in. You're, you don't need to keep buying five litres of acetone in case you're wondering. I don't do that. And here goes. <coughs> All right, I'm just going to throw it in there. One, two, three, four, five. I hope my fucking gloves don't melt. Oh shit, it's, it's taking on water. Oh shit, I didn't expect that to happen. Whoopsie. And my gloves are melting as well. I don't know. Anyway, I think it's been in there a little while. Um, I'll leave it in there a little bit longer. I'm going to try and drain it now, because I think it's taken on some uh, acetone inside it. Oh, shit. Um, sorry, I'll close that up. Gloves off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there we have it. Out of the um, out of the oven into the fire, so to speak. Um, I might move it back just a bit into the light more, so you can. Have a look. It's all right to touch now. So um, that's what it looks like. Bit of a mess on the bottom. But there you have it, whoops. We'll touch it somehow. Why is it so dark in this goddamn house? Anyway, um, I'll do some close-up photos and show you those in a bit. Sweet! But, um, it's a problem with printing in black. It's hard for me to show you what it looks like, I guess. But um, it's not shiny anymore, as you can see. That original one was. Um, you can see some lines, I think. At this point, I'll probably get to sand most of those lines down. And I'll dip it again. You can also take an air duster just to... Fuck that one in my eye. Ah! To... Blow some of the... Stuff out the hole.
and like that. So that's kind of what it looks like in the light of the one dip. There you go. Um, that one's all skanky a bit. A little bit of the white acetone tips there. I'm probably going to go over and sand all these bits down a bit. Why not? If I want it looking good because I want to use it for close-ups. Alright, I'll be back after I've sanded it down a bit. Okay, I'm back. I haven't done any sanding or anything, but I did find that if you hold one of these air canisters upside down and spray it, then it gives you a nice like indicator of what it will look like once you paint it. So um, it's quite cool. Does all that white freezing stuff. There you go. So you can kind of see if you need more sanding without having sanding it. And it's easy for me to show you under the light as well. So there you go, that's what the result looks like. It's pretty good. I'm pretty sure if I sprayed it, I'd need less sanding. But um, as it stands, that's what it looks like after only one dip. Um, all right, I will do a little bit of sanding and I'll be back in five minutes. All right, um, I've done some sanding. Um, hold on, let me just change that. Um, this is it. Again, after a little bit of sanding, maybe half an hour sitting around having a chat with some friends and just getting some sandpaper over the little bits that I felt might be a little imperfect. But um, I came to the problem that this is now really soft. As you can see, I can bend right into it. Thing. and you can see it's warped there in the middle all this stuff that shouldn't be looking like that so um, that's kind of messed up the structure somewhat I have a feeling I might have a, some bubbling because when I that down, drowned it in the PLA it kind of went in the gaps like in here but whatever it still looks fine I think it'll be okay um, whoops, sorry um, yeah I'm just going to give it a little quick dip in acetone and then I'll be back <coughs> so there's my um, freshly dipped acetone and sanded once type affair. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Definitely um, not much lining visible. I'm just going, just doing all that funky white stuff. Um, but there. All right. Um, yeah, I've noticed that I'm starting to see some of the cell structure through here, which means um, I'm definitely not going to um, dip it anymore. This is just going to get a bit floppy, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out now here. I can see, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of, um, you can see the lines from the support structure. So maybe I didn't go here um, thick enough on them and here as well. And all of those flat ones, I think, I didn't go thick enough on the shell or something, but whatever, I'll be all right. I can always... It's only on these flat ones anyway. The rest, everything else just looks pretty damn cool. So that's what it looks like after it's been dipped once for 30 seconds or more, and then another time for about five to 10 seconds, maybe. I've got cold in case you're wondering why I'm not in my usual chirpy self. But there you have it. I think it looks pretty good. All right, peace.